Hey, Coda. Coda, say hi to all the YouTube modelers out there. Say hi to them. You're probably wondering why Coda and I are out here in the woods. Well, and that's because we're in the natural habitat of the beasties. Here's a sticker I made last night. The beasties are a collection of creatures that were uh, once automobiles, other types of mechanical objects that were abandoned in the woods or out in a field or in a barn somewhere that began to rust and crust and get all kinds of gross and grungy. And over time, as they rotted away and kind of gave back to nature, they came alive. It's important to note that I've spent years of my life not only discovering, but learning and understanding about the beasties, trying to figure out how they work, how they uh, exist in their habitat, what they do, how they move, everything. And they're very, very dangerous. So it's important that you never approach one in the wild. And if you do, you need to make sure you have a trained handler with you at all times. If you're interested in becoming a trained beastie handler, let me know. It's a rigorous process, but it's well worth it in the end. So why have I brought this dog with me? Well, it just so happens that he's part German Shepherd, which means he's got a great nose on him. Oh, you're probably wondering why I've brought this dog with me. Well, it just so happens that he's part German Shepherd, which means that he is ideal for sniffing out beasties in their natural habitat. The dogs led me into the deepest, darkest part of the woods. It's a little terrifying, but I know it's our best chance of possibly finding a beastie. It's starting to get dark, and I'm worried that today's expedition might be a waste. We might not find a beastie today. I mean, it happens, it's winter, it's not necessarily the best time of year. Wait, what? Wow, what an amazing find. Admittedly, I thought we might not find a beastie out here in the woods. It's just a bit too cold, but it looks like we have stumbled across a new breed, a type of beastie that likes to survive in the winter. And even more amazingly, this one isn't even a complete beastie yet. The body is starting to go, but it's not, it's still mostly automobile. That's amazing. This is a really great find, and I think I'm going to collect this one because it is so unique, and I'm going to bring it back to my shop where we're going to let it grow and maybe one day become a full beastie. This is a really unique find. Now, we're going to head back to the shop, and we're going to put this guy into a little tank and let him grow and mature into a full beastie. But while we're down there, let's go ahead and check out some of the other beasties that I have in captivity. All right, so this little guy and Stan, my Russian tortoise, they're going to hang out until he's fully grown. I think they're going to be best friends. Now, I know what you're thinking. Aren't I worried about the tortoise? Aren't beasties supposed to be incredibly dangerous? And the answer to that is, well, yes, they are. But I found out that turtles and tortoises and beasties, they all seem to get along together quite well. They're like best friends. This is Schematic. She's, um... A Cumberland Slider, and she's one of the first I ever had in my collection. She's getting pretty big. I've raised her since she was a baby. And she's, uh, she's a big fan of the Beasties, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Even these little babies tend to think that Beasties are a lot of fun to play with. I have quite a few Beasties in my collection, and I, I plan on having more. Every time I find a new one that I think would be a unique addition to my collection, I go ahead and scoop it up like you just saw. These were the first three that I ever had in my collection. Uh, this was the first one, which is based off of uh, the Tijuana Taxi. Uh, this, which is originally a 49 Merc, and this, which was a 66 Shelby Cobra. And you can see just what's happened to them um, over all the time they spent out in the woods. Normally these are very dangerous, but I've hand trained them, so they're used to my presence. They're pretty wild. They're pretty out there. I mean, I'm impressed with things that's happened to them. This one grew feathers and these two grew hair. Later on in my searches, I discovered that this 41 Merc, the first one I had, was actually a female and that there was a male out there too, and this one was an alpha male. Um, I, I believe at one point there was a herd of these 41 Mercs roaming the plains, or I guess the, the woods where I found them, and um, this guy, I think, at once was an alpha male. He's pretty old and pretty beat up, but he's doing pretty good for his age, and he's thriving in captivity, which is really good. I hope maybe these could be a breeding pair, and I can actually start to cultivate more um, Mercury beasties. This is Brutus. He's the, the biggest beastie in my collection, and he was um, a handful uh, to try and wrangle him in, although he's incredibly gentle, and 
he is a little scared because he only has one eye, but this was one of the more dangerous looking ones I came across. Um, although I've found out that he's also fairly innocent for the most part. No harm's going to come from handling this guy. Unlike him, some beasties are actually also very dangerous, not only looking, but also in their behavior. These two guys are a good example. Uh, this is Rex, and this is what I've named Angus. And I found both of these guys chowing down on a late model Mercury Sable. And unfortunately, I couldn't save it, but I was able to put these guys in my collection. They've tamed down quite a bit, but they've really, um, they're really pretty terrifying. And this little cutie is named Wanda. I found her out by the beach underneath some seaweed. It seems like uh, when she was an automobile, she was abandoned um, out by the water somewhere. And she's evolved to survive in that pretty well. So there you go, guys. That's my collection of beasties. It's going to be ever-growing. There's always going to be more. Um, and I know that this uh, camera doesn't always do them uh, the best amount of justice. So if you want to see more, feel free to head over to my Facebook page. I'll post a link down in the, con uh, in the description below. I've got more detailed photos of all of these guys, and I'll also be posting more um, as I discover more. And as uh, this little guy grows into a full adult. So... Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk with you later.